Hello folks, Matthew Peterson here, trainer at Pragmatic Works. If this is your first time here, make sure to subscribe to the channel, stay up to date on all the videos that we post out, as well as some free resources as well. So in this video, what I wanted to bring to you is, have you ever used Microsoft Forms before? One of the things I did not know until recently is when you make a Microsoft form, whenever you want to see those responses, you open up the form and then you download that Excel sheet. But did you know you can embed the form answers and results right into an Excel online workbook? This is awesome to keep track of all the changes and quickly see all of your form results. So without any further ado, let's see how easy this is to get done. Alright, so the one thing to note here is this feature has to be done with your Excel online version, not the desktop version of Excel. So I've opened up Excel online and right up here at the top in the insert ribbon, you can see that there is a forms drop down here. Uh, and this is one of the reasons why I didn't know about this because I typically use the desktop version, not the online version. But watch what we can do. So I'm going to hit this form here and I'm going to say that I want to make a brand new form. So when I hit new form, it's going to open up Microsoft Forms over here for me. And so I'm going to call this my uh, parent conference sign up. I'm going to go with an education example since I used to teach for 16 years before I started here. So parent conference sign up. All right, got that. Now I'm just going to add in some quick questions here. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to ask them for is uh, what is your name? Simple, and I'm gonna make this a required response. That's not gonna have anything to do with the Excel. I'm gonna add in another one here, something like, uh, what date would you like to come in for the conference? So for the conference, all right, easy peasy. And then finally, we'll do one more thing here. I'm gonna say, um, oh, and I don't wanna do an option here. Let me go add new. I wanna go with text and what, phone number can I reach you at for any conflicts? All right, bingo. So I've made all of those responses here. I've made all of the questions. So here's what the beautiful thing is. As we can see, if I come back to forms in Excel right now, it already, boom, 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 already started to fill in all this information that's gonna be collected from my form. So watch what happens. I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to collect some responses here. I'm gonna preview this out. So I'm gonna hit preview here. So what is your name? My name is Matt Peterson. What date would I like to come in for the conference? I'll say we'll come in on the 17th and then we'll put in a generic phone number here and then I'm gonna hit submit. So once I hit submit, your response was submitted. Thank you, great. Now, if I come back over to my Excel, over here in just a few seconds, look at what it did. It now brought back all of my information. So it logged that email address, or oh, that's actually the email address from me because this is an internal one. Uh, if I make my form accessible to users, so let me come back to the form. When you share your form and you collect responses, if you do it internally, it's always gonna log the person's email address. Uh, if I wanna make this to where anyone can respond, it does not log that email address. Uh, and that's where if I wanted it, I would have added a new question in here. So just if you're wondering where the email address came from, came from me because I'm doing this as internally on our tenant here. But I have the name of Matt Peterson here. That was from my form question. It has my date that I would like to meet. And then over here, what phone number can I reach you at? It's now brought this into place as well. And this all came from this form right here. And you're like, you might be saying, Matt, there's a problem. Well, why is it bringing back this question field here? Well, the reason it brought this back is as I was making that form, if you remember, I added in a question. I was like, oop, that's actually the wrong one. And I deleted it there. So as you're making changes on the forms, it's going to change your Excel version as well. So technically, I don't need that column there anymore. So I can just delete that column. And so here's what that beautiful thing is. As I send this form out and I use it year in, year out, over and over and over again, I no longer have to go to the form, go to the responses and click that I wanna open this in Excel or I want to view the results or download them. All I simply have to do is go to one location, I find my forms Excel workbook, 
open it up in Excel online, and I now have all the responses saved for me here. And then I can go in and modify, get rid of old records if I ever wanted to. So this was a feature that I just didn't know about when I was using regular Excel and regular forms. It was when I opened up Excel online, I saw that forms little icon, I was like, this is a time saver. So I wanted to make sure that I showed that to you. So hopefully you enjoyed, hopefully this can help you out somewhere within your organization. Again, if you liked the video, hit that like button. Um, if you didn't like the video, I apologize for that, but definitely subscribe because we post tons of videos throughout the week. And if there's anything we can do in terms of training, please feel free to contact us, we would love to help out. So again, thanks so much and I'll see you in the next one.